हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ जीटा एक्सिस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कोरल रीफ्स द कोरल रीफ्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री मेजर कैटेगरीज द फर्स्ट इज फ्रिंज रीफ बैरियर रीफ एंड एटॉल सो द फ्रिंज रीफ आर द रीफ्स व्हिच डेवलप वेरी क्लोज टू आवर कोस्टल लाइन दिस इज द बिगनिंग ऑफ कोरल रीफ फॉर्मेशन हियर वी कैन सी दैट इट इज वेरी क्लोज टू द कोस्ट लाइन एंड ऑल द कोरल्स हियर आर एक्टिव If we see the cross section of a young fringe reef, we see that there is no lagoon formed over here. Now, this fringe reef, it over the time it will develop, and we will see that the corals will move further away from the coastline. And now, when we see the cross section, we can see that there is this lagoon over here, and most of the corals are concentrated in this region, that is away from the coastline. And as we come over here, the number of corals or the concentration of corals decreases. and there is a small lagoon which has very less depth not more than 3 or 5 meters here is an example of coral reef formation we can see this island and this red margin shows the boundary of the island and what you see over here all these are coral reefs we can see that they are very close to the coastline and there is no lagoon in between this island and the coral reef so these are the fringe reef formation the fringe reef formations are the most common type of coral reefs that we see in the world here again there is a mature fringe reef we can see that there is very small lagoon between the reef and the coastline here is the reef structure if you see the reef structure we can see that this is the coastline over here and here is the crest of the reef so these fringe reefs are generally located in this region that is close to the coastline so here is the summary of fringe reefs the fringe reefs is generally grow directly from the shoreline or it can be separated by a very shallow lagoon the lagoon has very less depth they develop along the coast of continents or islands so these reef will develop along the coastal region and it will be very close to the coastal line more corals are concentrated in the side facing the ocean because there is active current in those regions fringe reefs are the first coral reefs which are formed so when a coral reef starts its formation the fringe reefs are the first which are formed and these are the most commonly found coral reefs around the world the next is barrier reefs so now these coral reefs they will move further ahead they will mature they will develop now what happens that the corals which are concentrated away from the coastal region they get more nutrients because here there is more currents more organisms will be available as a food for them the corals which are over here they will decay over time they will become less active and we see patches of water and patches of coral over here the barrier reef is also formed by combination of different fringe reefs so different fringe reefs they develop and they merge together and they form a continuous reef which is called barrier reef so it is formed by merger of several fringe reefs if you see the cross section now we can see that there is large lagoon which separates the coral reef from the coast moreover if we see the reef structure then the coral reefs will be located mostly in this region that is they will be away from the coastal line here we can see the classification of the reef this region that is the backward side of the region towards the coast is called back reef this is called reef crest where most of the corals are concentrated and then there is four reef that is the forward side of the reef that is the ocean wards side of the reef here is the summary of our barrier reefs so they border the coastal lines and separated by the coast by a deep lagoon so we saw that now the lagoon gets deeper compared to the fringe reef it is formed by merger of several fringe reefs and they border along the coastline so now these barrier reefs they will form a barrier or a line side structure along the coastal region they form a line along the coastal line and circle along the island so if it's a island then it will it will form a circle along this island these lines or circles is often broken to allow ocean water so these lines are not continuous but there will be several openings in this barrier reefs which allows fresh water or fresh ocean water to come and increase the amount of nutrients in the lagoon or in the backward side of the reef 
more of the corals are concentrated in the side facing the ocean so as we see that the side which faces the ocean there will be more concentrated of corals these are the longest in length and widest reefs so if we see all three types of reefs these are the longest the great barrier reef of australia is the biggest barrier reef in the world so here is the great barrier reef of australia which we can see over here it forms a line or a continuous structure along the coastal region of this australia this is and the satellite image we can see these are the barrier reefs which are parallel to the coastal line of australia and we can see that there are several openings in this barrier reef and it is separated from the coastline by a very big lagoon in between so we can see all the characteristics of barrier reef in this great barrier reef which is the biggest barrier reef in the world this line indicates the margin of the barrier reef here again we can see that this is the ocean this is the forward side of the reef and this is the backward side of the reef or back reef so we can see that this region is continuous while there are several patches of water and corals in this region in the backward side so as we discussed the oceanward side of the barrier reef will have more concentrated of corals because there is fresh nutrients coming from the ocean now let's see the third type of barrier reef that is called atoll now there are two main theories for this atoll the first is that when there is a mountain the reef will start to develop they will first start as fringe reef then over time it will get converted into barrier reef now due to some reason this mountain may start to subside it could be due to erosion or tectonic movement but it will start to subside and we will see that the barrier reef it will start to develop in the upward direction so that it can survive and this forms the atoll reef which we can see in the top view as well that the mountain has now got below the sea surface and there is a big lagoon in between and there is a ring of coral reef and this is called atoll reef the next theory is sea level rise theory again here there is a mountain and there are reefs which start as a fringe reef and over time become a barrier reef as we can see over here in the top view now here instead of this mountain sinking below the sea the sea level water rises up and now we see that the mountain will sink under the water but the corals they will develop to remain close to the surface of water for their survival and therefore we see that a ring of coral are formed over here and this gives rise to the atolls so here is the process of formation of the atolls first it starts as fringe reef around the sea mount sea mount are those mountains in oceans which reach the surface of the oceans fringe reef grows into barrier reefs which surrounds the sea mount then the sea mount sink due to erosion or tectonic movement or due to increase in the sea level then the corals grow upwards to remain close to the surface of water so that they can have photosynthesis minkoi atoll in lux deep is a very good example of atoll reef this is our minkoi island we can see that it is a atoll there is a lagoon and there is an opening over here and here is the land over here this is the diagrammatic representation we can see that there is land over here there is some coconut palms over here and there is this reef over here it completely surrounds and there is lagoon in the between there are some other examples of atolls we can see that again there is a rim there is lagoon in the middle and then we have some more examples which we can clearly see what atolls look like in the ocean so it also are basically irregular ring set island including a coral reef so there is a thin coral reef and in between there is lagoon most of the atolls in the world are present in the pacific ocean so here is an image of an island where we can see all three types of reef together so in this region we can see there is fringe reef because they are very close to the coastal line and they are not separated by a very deep lagoon there is lagoon but it is not as wide as the lagoon over here so these are the barrier reefs you can clearly see that they are very far away from the coastline and there is a very large lagoon in between and lastly we see an atoll over here so all three reefs can coexist i hope you understood different types of coral reefs if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section
if you like the video then do share the video and subscribe to the channel if you like what you are doing then you can use the upi id to support us thanks for watching the video